This video is going to go hand in hand with what we did yesterday, which this is homework 6-14, and it's going to piggyback on the compound interest formula. So in the past couple of days, we did the compound interest formula, and we talked about the interest or the interest rate that's given to us by a bank being compounded in different ways. So it could be compounded annually, which means once a year. It could be compounded quarterly. It could be compounded monthly. Or basically, it can be compounded continuously. And continuously basically means that they're taking the interest rate and they're just continually or infinitely compounding the interest over and over and over again. So now and now and now. An infinite amount of times they're compounding the interest. Now, if you see the keyword compounded continuously, which is down here, compounded continuously, we're going to write it on this line, then this indicates that we're actually going to use a different formula than the one that we used the other day. So the other day we used the formula A equals P 1 plus R over N to the NT, which is the compound interest formula for every other type of compounding. But now we're going to use this separate formula, which is called PERT. I call it PERT every time. And PERT is uh, similar components. It is exponential growth. We still have the initial value P, principal or initial amount. That you put in the bank and then we still have the rate the interest rate r which is as a decimal and we still have the time t which is the time elapsed where maybe the money is in the bank or whatever's going on and then what's different is the growth factor okay so on the previous day the growth factor was 1 plus r over n to the n. But now the base is slightly different. The new growth factor is going to be e to the r. It's basically everything except for the t. And then the e, if you guys remember, is the irrational number. That is a constant. So remember, E is a constant or an irrational number. And if you remember, we got that value by pressing sec second division sign. So it's approximately 2.718. So it's just a number. So this is the new growth factor, E to the R. And then the T is the time. All right, the time elapsed. And then the final amount is still the same, the final amount A is the amount after the time period that we have in the bank if we're talking about money all right so let's do an example it's not so bad it's actually maybe easier to remember than the other one right so here we go matt places twelve hundred dollars in the bank so that's going to be your initial amount or your principal amount um, earning an annual rate so it says annual, so you think it's once a year, but then that's 0.065 as a decimal. It says compounded continuously. So I would star that and make a note to self that that means you have to use the PERT formula. So the PERT formula is A equals PERT. Determine the amount of money to the nearest cent. So you're looking for the A, the final amount that Matt will have in the account after 10 years. So 10 is T. All right, so let's just plug in what we know. So the initial amount, the principal amount was 1,200. The E, we're just gonna leave E because it, we know it's an irrational number. We're just gonna leave it. We're not gonna round it. The R is the rate, so that's 0 0.065. And the T is the time, that's gonna be the 10. So I'll put times 10 here. And then we're done. We just have to put it right in the calculator and then see what we get. So take out your calculator. Go to the home screen, type in exactly what you see, 1200 E second decimal, second division sign, caret 0.065 times 10. You could either write times or you could put two parentheses, but the calculator will work it out for you. And then you're going to round this to the nearest, uh, it looks like, cent. So that's two decimal places. So we have 2298.65. 
All right, that's it. So there's the first one. So he made a bunch of money with a 6.5% rate is really good. So that's probably not gonna happen in real life. Next one, number two, let's try it. 5,000 is invested in the bank. That's the principal amount. Interest rate, 0.035, that's the rate. Notice here it says compounded continuously, so I'll highlight that. That means you're going to use your E formula. No money is deposited or withdrawn. Using the formula below, determine, well, the formula above, I should say. Determine to the nearest cent how much is an investment worth. How much this investment will be worth in 120 months. Okay. So in this case, the T is in months. So keep that in mind. I think we're going to have to convert this months to years. So take 120, divide it by 12 to get 10 years, and now we're going to plug it in. A equals PERT. That's only if this was an annual interest rate, then we would need to convert this to years. Okay, if it was a monthly interest rate, we could have left that rate. So we're going to plug in for P, 5,000. We're going to leave the E alone. The rate is 0.035. And the T is the time, which is... Uh, five years, 10 years, sorry, 10. And then you're just going to plug in the calculator. Same thing. All right. So I got my answer. I'm going to round to the nearest cent, 7095.34. That's a lot more money that's made. So now if you look at the next page, it says try these on your own. So notice now it's going to combine the skills that we learned yesterday with the ones today. So it's going to ask you to do the interest rate compounded quarterly. So that's going to be N equals 4. So you're going to use the formula from yesterday for that one, 1 plus R over N to the NT. And then it says compounded continuously. So then you're going to use the PERT formula from today. And keep in mind, you're still going to have the same initial amount for both ones, which is the principal of 15000 You're still going to have the same rate, which is 0.04. And you're still going to have the same time, which is time t equals 6. The difference is just you're using a different formula. All right. Thank you.